hi friends in this video i am going to demonstrate you how to install mac operating system virtual machine in a virtual machine so for that you must have some pre requirement so that pre requirement is you have oracle vm virtual box manager software installed in your system which is free to download directly from the oracle website and you must have a Mac operating system ISO file which you want to install in my case I am going to install Monterey Mac operating system and if you want to install the uh, Mac operating system on Windows machine you want to test it you can directly do it with the help of virtual machine so how to do that click on new select the name of virtual machine you required I am required I'm, for me I am selecting Mac OS 64 in the type section you have to select you are installing mac operating system version i am going to install monterey so it is not available here so i am selecting the highest one that is available that is high sierra 64 bit so we are not going to select the expert mode we are going for the typical mode go to the next base memory default ok processor it is recommended it will be minimum 2 core and uh, if you are not set it as 2 core you will find some problems in installation so it is my recommendation you will set it as 2 core and also the hard disk should be minimum 50 GB if you select it by default 30 GB you will face some issues so select it as 50 GB minimum and select next and finish now you see that the virtual machine has been created now we go to the setting for the further setting we have to do general tab is ok go to system it is recommended you have deselect the floppy as a boot order everything ok in this processor you have minimum 2 processor everything is now ok now we go for the display tab it is recommended that you will set the video memory to the maximum that is 128 mb storage now i have to mount my iso file so i have click on this empty cd and select on the basically you will select from your computer where you have been keep your iso file that is choose a disk file I have selected Monterey. So Monterey is about 15 GB and this is the location. So next we check audio. Everything is open, network, serial port, USB, user interface, everything is OK. And now we have to start our virtual machine. When we start click on start so you will see your virtual machine start booting from the ISO file you have been selected so you have seen that booting has been stopped or halted so we will wait but we, uh, I will tell you that this has been same halted in your system also so to continue the installation we have to do some system configurations using command prompt so if you also face the same issue that it your system installation has halted at this position so you don't have to be worry you also do what I am teaching you in the next so you have to close it power of the machine ok now I go to the command prompt and run it as administrator just type cmd right click run as administrator make sure you run command prompt in an administrator prompt so first I will go to the directly where my virtual machine has been installed 
so i will provide this description these details in the description also right cd c drive program files or echo virtual box so you have select whatever your path is and paste it here and enter now i am going to my virtual box where my virtual box has been installed good directory and i have to execute one by one these command and these details i also put in the description so you can also use it make sure where the mac os 64 that has been written in this text file because my system name is mac os 64 you will rename it with your virtual machine name whatever your machine name you have been provided wherever there is mac os 64 you have to replace it with your virtual machine name so i am going to execute this command one by one in the command prompt make sure there is no error in this in this execution if there is some error that means you have been make some mistake you can write it in the comment box also and i am help you in troubleshooting it so i am going to execute these commands one by one in a command prompt and make sure you will not get any error so i am wait until my all come i will execute all my commands in a command prompt If you find any error in any command line that you are not able to install the Mac operating system so you can write it in the comment and I will tell you I will try to troubleshoot what is the problem you have been facing. last command so you will see i have been successfully execute all the command without any error i have to minimize it then again go is to start my virtual machine so it's powering up and the booting is again started now if you face a error that your mac operating system said it has been aborted or there is some snc error that means you have to restart your system do not worry about it if you see some snc error or your system has been aborted at this stage you have to restart your system and go again and it's okay so you will see my installation has been begun so select the language english next we have to go to disk utility it is not uh, compulsory but i will recommend you will do it go to the hard disk and erase it name it as your system your virtual machine name so that you can easily remember it click on erase now you will see the hard disk name is renamed as mac os 64 close it go to install mac os monterey continue setup is started so i will click on continue again
agree the terms select the hard disk I have just been given name Mac OS 64 continue it takes about 17 minutes so we have to wait a lot for this so if everything is okay for you that uh, you are following me and everything is as per me so that's mean you are on the right track So you will see the installation has going on this is take a long time Okay, I am going to pause the video and let you know when the installation this this part has been completed not installation so you have been seen that that part has been completed and the system has been restarting again now it's the longest part of the installation that takes about 29 minutes so you have to keep patience and wait until this installation has been completed so after restarting your installation has been started now I am going to pause this and show you when there are some uh, basically they take some restarts so I will whenever there is some changes so I will show you so that you will also know that you are working on a correct path so you will see now 21 minutes are remaining again going to pause it now 17 minutes remaining fifteen minutes you have to keep the patience it is the longest part of the installation Twelve minutes are remaining now, so I am keep showing you the time in between. Now it's ten minutes remaining. We are going a step closer, closer and closer. So when it's become around five minutes, you will see that your system will restart. So if same things happen with you, that's mean you are going good till now. I'm showing you also this rebooting because it will take a long of time, long time. So if you also face the long time of rebooting, that's mean you are also on the right track. So it will also take a time in rebooting 
it's a long reboot i will showing you that because you also know that this reboot will take a lot of time and you are doing almost good So keep patience and wait until reboot has been completed. It take a lot of time and you are also on the right track. Because after all this you will get the, your Mac operating system on your virtual machine and you are going to test it. Now it's almost going to be complete. So you will see your first reboot has been complete. Now wait for a while. and again it's going to be reboot this is the final reboot this means your installation has been completed so we are going to wait congratulations the installation has been completed if you see this screen now you have to make system configurations only so you have completed with the installation part of mac operating system in the virtual machine so now we are going to make some system configuration before starting our system So you, we have to select our country or region, depend on your country you can select it. So if you feel your mouse is lagging at this point that is okay. 
that means it's okay for you the when you have been installed it it has been it create no problem in it so you will also face some lagging mouse here at this point when we'll do when you are doing the system configuration continue accessibility not now data privacy continue migration assistant we are not got going to migrate it from anywhere so not now apple id we do not require now set up later because the mac address we have been assigned here many people have downloaded it on also many mac id has created from it so we're going to skip it it's better to skip it terms and condition we have to agree it agree now give your name to your system whatever name you choose i'm giving mac vm password assign password for your system and keep remember that password verify it hint is optional if you want to give some hint if you do not want press continue so creating an account will take some little bit of time almost it has been done location we do not need now so we have to press continue don't use the location now you have to select the time zone as per your country if you see your mouse is lagging too much do not worry about it this is the part of the installation that's when you are going good still you are going good so when the installation has completed you will see it is smooth so my mouse is very much lagging and i am now it's very difficult for me to select the time region but i am trying my best yeah i have been selected india so whatever region i have been you can also select your region and after that you have to press continue button now we are not going to share anything with the mac at present so we have to uncheck it and continue set up later we can do this later when there is a requirement see yes enable it because we want to test the mac operating system how it works so we are enabling siri voice should be selected as per the requirement no we are not going to share anything so not now continue
okay light theme is okay for me you can select whatever theme you required and you will see the keyboard setup assistance to find which keyboard you are using so you have to press the button on the right of your ship for me it's Z and also left for me it's a front slash so it will automatically detect your keyboard done and you are ok you will see your mac operating system on your virtual machine is installed completely so I am going to first eject it so I will check whether this is working properly or not so for that I will do a small task that I will install Google Chrome for the Mac operating system to check whether it's working smoothly or bug free so I am going to install Google first go to the Google and search download Google Chrome for Mac click on download now download chrome for mac os 10.13 or later allow so you will see the file is downloading now going to minimize it So download has been complete, go to the download folder, right click, open downloads and you will see my Google Chrome installing file here. So I am double click it. We have to click on Google Chrome first. I will click on first application and so what applications are available. These are the applications that are available with me. Close it go to the google chrome wait for the installer So I am using the Mac operating system in my Windows operating with, with the system having Windows operating system I will using Mac using the virtual machine. So you can also use and test Mac OS on your Windows operating system using this virtual machine. Open. install it the performance is also depend on your main system performance and whatever attribute you have been provided to your virtual machine system i have provided two cores and 50 gb that is the minimum requirement two core two uh, two gb of ram and 50 gb of storage so i'm going with the minimum requirement so you will see now chrome has been opened and I have been successfully installed the Chrome app. Going to close it. Close. Close. Allow. Close. Close the notifications also. now you will see that you have been successfully installed 
Mac operating system in your virtual machine. Also checked it by downloading a small Google Chrome that everything is working perfectly. The mouse is also working smoothly now. Your keyboard is also working perfectly. So in this way you can install your Mac operating system on your virtual machine or you can use Mac operating system on your window main system which is working on the windows. So we want to be able to test and check the Mac operating system also. So if you have any queries for this you can write it in the comment box or you can directly contact me on the details provided in the description. I will also provide that commands that we use in the command prompt on the CMD that you will help you. Okay, thank you for watching.